friends, welcome to One and All Kids. We have a brand new series called To the Rescue. We are learning about how we can help others. This week, we get to hear about someone who helped an injured person. Let's learn. friends we're gonna sing a new song this week it's called the hippo song and in this song we're gonna make a hippo face so puff out your cheeks and make your arms really big and let's sing the hippo song in the beginning god made the sea and the forest filled with trees he made the mountains up so high and at the top he placed the sky god's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much he cares. In between, he had loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, 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 hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made us. Bye, friends. Hey, everyone. Let's get up and worship Jesus. It's time for us to start with our first song called Love Like Jesus. Jesus is helping me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I believe His light can shine through me. I can do the things that He does. I can love like Jesus. I want to be. is helping me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I believe his light can shine through me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I love that song and I love hearing you sing. Our next song is an amazing one too. It's called Perfect. Let's sing it. God, you are the You are 
away So I don't have to worry You're put, 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 put perfect When I don't know We have one more song at the end of service, but for now, it's time to grab your Bible, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. Hey friends, I'm Pastor Yesenia, and I get to be here with our friend, Karina. Hola niños y niñas. I'm so excited for a new series. Me too. It's called To the Rescue. Nice. What is it about? It's about helping others. Que fantástico. I love helping other people. Me too. There are so many people in our communities that help people all the time. And we can say thank you to them with some of these. Look at this cool card. Whoa, what is that? It, whoa, whoa, oh, whoo, almost dropped the card, guys. It says, thank you in the front. And it says, thank you for helping everyone from one and all kids. These are thank you cards. I can draw a picture right here like I did, or you can decorate the card and say thank you to someone like a teacher, a firefighter, a parent, or anyone who is in a community that helps. Like a police officer? Yes. Or the man that picks up all my trash? Oh, yes. That is so cool. I can help you make more later, but let's call out Ollie because I really want to hear our Bible story. Same here. On the count of three, everyone, we're going to yell Ollie. Ready? Ready. One, Uno, dos, two, three. three. Ollie! Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Great job, Stormy Jane. You are such an awesome helper. Oh, hey friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She was just helping me clean out her dog house. Look at how many toys were in there. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of toys. I definitely needed help getting them all out. And we all need help sometimes. And the best thing is that God made us to help. That's the sign for help. Can you do it with me? That's right. God made me and you to help. And in the Bible, there is a story Jesus told about helping others. Do you want to hear it? Great! The story Jesus told began with a man walking along a road. All of a sudden, some people came and hurt the man. Oh no! The hurt man had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Oh look! Here comes someone! Maybe he will help the hurt man. Do you think he will stop and help? Hmm, let's see if he stops. Oh no! He didn't stop to help the hurt man. He just walked on by. Oh, yay, here comes someone else. Maybe he will stop and help. Do you think he will stop and help? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, he didn't stop either. He just walked on by. Now what is the hurt man going to do? Oh, wait. Oh, there's another person coming. Uh-oh, he is a Samaritan. The Samaritan's family and the hurt man's family were not friends. Do you think the Samaritan will stop even though he wasn't friends with the hurt man? Oh, I can't wait for you to see what happens. Look, the Samaritan is stopping. He's helping. He's giving the hurt man bandages for his boo-boos. He's putting the hurt man on his donkey and he's taking him to a place to stay to get better. Hooray for helping. Everyone cheer with me. Hooray for helping. The Samaritan in the story did what God made us to do. He helped, and we can help people too, because God made you and me to help others. Hooray for helping! 
<laughs> oh, hey, Ollie, tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. Who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Dios me hizo para ayudar a otros. That's right. Now let's see how much we can remember from our story today. We are gonna ask some questions and if you know the answers, shout them out. In our story today, we saw a man who had been hurt. Did the first person stop to help or did they pass by? The first guy passed him up and didn't help. Great job, friends. Yeah. Then there was another person who walked by. Did the second person pass by or did he give the man two million fun stickers? Stickers? <laughs> he passed the man by too. Lastly, a Samaritan man walked by. Did he help the hurt man or did he sit on him and eat an ice cream cone? <gasps> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, that's weird. It sounds like our friends are saying that he helped him. Yeah. He helped bandage him up and took him to a place to rest up and get better. Great job, friends. I'm so glad that guy didn't sit on him and eat ice cream. <laughs> Me too. Thanks for answering those questions. You all know your stuff. Who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Dios me hizo para ayudar a otros. My favorite way to remember that God made me to help others is by saying our memory verse. It is from 2 Chronicles 32, 8, and it says, We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. That is a cool memory verse. I am so excited to learn that. Let's all say it together. Good idea, Karina. Everyone say it with us. One, One two, two, three. three. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. That was awesome. Buen trabajo. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he's done in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about the question, who can you help? Answer the question with your friends around you when we pause. Here comes our big pause in tres, dos, uno, big pause. Whew. Nice job, everyone. Muy bien. Now we will close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Prayer is when we get to talk with God. It is a fun time to share with him about everything going on in our lives. Okay, let's close our eyes and pray together. Here we go. Close, 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 close your eyes. Okay. Dear God, thank you for loving us and sending Jesus to show us how to love others. Thank you for making us to help like the Samaritan man. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Adios, friends. See you next time. God made us to help others. We can always be looking out for other people to help them, even if it's just something small, like giving a Band-Aid. I'm so thankful that God made me to help other people. One way that I show that thankfulness is by giving my offering. When we give our offering, we're saying thank you to God for all that he does for us. If I have 10 fire trucks, then I wanna give my very best one back to God. This one has a puppy in it, so I'm gonna give it to God. And we can do the same with our money. You can talk to your parents or leaders about giving your offering today. Now, it's time to get up on our feet because it's worship time. So let's sing our last worship song. It's called, I'm Gonna Tell.
is so great He can do any, anything I just can't wait So I'm gonna tell Everyone, everywhere About the love of Jesus Yeah, everyone, everywhere I want the world to know Oh, everyone, everywhere About the love of Jesus So I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Gonna tell them Gonna tell them Gonna tell them It's a beautiful day A beautiful day I wanna celebrate I wanna tell everyone I love worshiping and I can't wait to do it again next time. Don't forget to come back next week and invite some friends to come with you too. Until then, I want to send you into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye everyone!